Hey everyone, we're here at Peak Human. I'm with Dr. Sanjeev Goal, and I didn't get the memo, but apparently <laughs> everyone's talking about You're this. living like in the cave. <laughs> I, I, everyone's talking about Ozempec yeah. for weight loss, and I'm like, I've done everything on the planet, and you're hiding things from me. What's going on? What the well, heck is Ozempec? Well, basically, if you're watching a commercial, every commercial on TV is not talking about Ozempec, so I thought we got to just talk about it so people understand how it works. That's I don't watch TV. That's what <laughs> it is. Like, I had no idea. So like, give me the uh, give So Ozempec, let me just write it down yeah. just so people can... Can get their head around what it's Ozempec. called Ozempec, which is also known as the, the the generic name is semaglutide okay uh, but Ozempic is how it's going by and you see commercials for it and basically Ozempic is a uh, once a week needle that oh, it's, a, it's needle. a very small needle like okay. it's such a small needle you can't be afraid of that little needle okay but um, it's once a week and it was actually first developed as a diabetes medication and still being used for diabetes okay because it has uh, effects any, on blood sugar. All kinds of diabetes, not type 1, 2, Yeah, whatever. it doesn't, doesn't matter. Okay. It works really well, mostly type 2 diabetes. Um, but uh, it, uh, it's quite effective. But what they found was that people were losing a lot of weight uh, on this medication. Well, so, so Ozempic was not originally designed for weight loss, mm -hmm. but because it... What 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 was it used for in diabetes? Oh, just to bring the blood sugar down. Because what it oh. does is it, it basically, if you look over here, the effects. So it, it belongs to this class called a GLP-1 receptor agonist. So GLP, so GLP is a type of uh, hormone, a, a hormone. receptor agonist. So it, it basically acts on this receptor of GLP. And so it has the same effects as GLP-1. Okay. So you can see how many effects GLP has on the body. So if you look at pancreas, well, it's it's basically uh, working on ins uh, insulin levels. Okay. It's decreasing blood glucose, um, and so that's how it's working on on the on the on the, on the diabetes on the diabetes part. But because they were using it, and mm -hmm. then the results are all these diabetes patients were losing weight. Sorry. Is that what it is? Exactly. Yeah. Um, well, be, it has some other effects, and and this is what really I think uh, causes the weight loss effects. Ooh, Apart from GI the sugar. Track. Okay. Yeah. It, it, what it tends to do is slow everything down through your gut. So just imagine that you're eating food and your stomach is not emptying as fast as it normally would do. When you have diabetes or any or, any, no, any, any time. everybody. Okay. Okay. So okay. Every, everybody. we eat regular, and then our stomach uh, uh, fills up. And then that when the stomach fills up, our body sends a signal, stop eating. Right, okay. But because in regular people, it's emptying. It's constantly moving through. It's going okay. down to the intestines. But in this situation, the uh, food is not moving as fast down. So Okay. And so your stomach gets full faster. Oh, it's tricking you. It's tricking you. So oh. basically your body feels, you feel full quickly. And, okay, so and, physiologically, mm -hmm. you're feeling full. Yeah, which is with really less with, with less food. with less amount of food. So really, it works on decreasing appetite. Where do we get this yeah, secret it work, sauce? <laughs> it does work on decreasing appetite. Wow. And um, and so the side effect, apart from from the decreasing appetite, is that you could have constipation because the issue is that yes, everything's slowing down. Okay. And so you just have to be aware of that. Um, so do 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 people. Um, just be aware of constipation. So you shouldn't try to unconstipate. Like, should they take fiber? Yeah, they can do all. They of can those. do that. Okay. All of that things are, are helpful. Okay. Uh, to address this, um, it may have a, a, a good impact on reducing fat around the liver because it decreases the production of glucose from the uh, from the liver, and uh, and also less fat gets also deposited in the liver. So, as well. so when did this discovery come out? Like, and I've again, I didn't get the memo. So when? <laughs> yeah, this medication's been around for about two years in Canada so it's been only in the few years okay um, that's probably why but it's been it's been really the last six months that's taken you know gone crazy so it's people. not a protein it's a hormone Ozempic yeah it's a, well it's a type of all, all hormone all um, all hormones are actually proteins okay so it's a type of protein uh, that you inject once a week and you know we generally start pretty slow because people who don't have uh, diabetes, diabetes are quite sensitive to the medication what, what would it, be, by sensitivity, their stomach hurts? Like, what would, what would be a side if, effect? Yeah, if you could have nausea and vomiting. Uh, nausea and vomiting, if it's too too much. You how many, um, when you say a small needle, do, do, is it a certain number of millimeters? Like, is uh, it a big Well, it comes at a certain dosage. You know, we probably, again, everything here, you should please talk to your doctor yes. before you take Ozempic. 
Uh, but the, you know, the pens normally come at 0 0.25 milligrams. Okay. And we would even start lower than that. Just um, to see what their see first they reaction do. is. You know, okay. But the dose in the studies are all the way from 0 0.25 all the way up to 3 milligrams. Wow. And over a few years, people lost about uh, anywhere from, I think, up to 30 to 40% of their weight over a few years so no, weight what what weight are they it's fat then yeah, it's, it's not muscle it's, no, it's actual generally, fat generally okay. be generally mostly fat but of course when you're losing weight you're also potentially losing lean body mass sure. unless you are exercising and keeping okay it up. so you potentially could be losing some lean body mass so it's if you're trying to build a lot of muscle you should shouldn't necessarily be on those impacts. so if somebody was um because it's so quick mm -hmm. Uh, is there any studies about um, the maintenance or do they have to continue to because I've seen people on fad diets they lose all this weight and then boom they go right back you know up. what the amazing thing about Ozempic is that even when people uh, so they'll lose the weight and then they come off it and they just tend to keep the weight off because oh, that's great. it's so almost it's like, like they've trained yeah. their body they understand how much to eat now because they've been eating less and they're maybe the, maybe their stomach shrinks like we don't really know it it would make sense that hey they would just get the weight back but they just don't seem to do that well that's it's kind great. of really cool so it has all these metabolic effects so that's why i think it's a really cool drug right. because it has it's you know it's not like a laxative which is like making you just like go to the bathroom right it has you know it's not you're losing all the nutrition of the food here in this case uh that's not exactly happening you're just eating less and it probably has some other beneficial uh metabolic effects that are good for the body so right you know. so for anyone who's listening or watching mm -hmm. would they then go to their physician because this is only prescribed by physician yeah, it is a prescription medication okay. you know uh, definitely uh, you have to go talk to your physician do some blood panel make sure see what your blood sugars are like check okay. to make sure your liver is all good and uh, and be monitored because you know right. there's there is a uh, you know, risk that your sugar could go very low. Well, well, that's the benefit of being part of your concierge <laughs> services. You get you get him on speed dial. So that's amazing. We talked about Ozempic, uh, yeah. the new uh, medically supervised uh, weight loss fad phenomenon. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's a fad. I think it's going to be here for a long time. Yeah, uh, um, one to the new drugs. There's a new drug that's coming from the U.S. very soon. It's called Monjaro. Uh, so we're just waiting on that one, but in What's the meantime, that? Well, maybe another episode. Yeah, we'll talk episode. about that okay, in another well, episode. Okay. But Ozempic right now is the flavor and very effective. Uh, and my, my last question: the, the needle. Uh, does it matter where it goes? Is it in the arms? It's done stomach? right in the little tummy area, right okay. when your fat is sub Q. But again, it's so small, and if I can just point you, yeah, like four mill four millimeter needle. It's so small, you probably don't even feel it. No pain, no gain. <laughs> it was it's like pain. not even. There's no, no there's zero, zero. Here, zero pain, <laughs> Lots all of the gain. benefits. <laughs> all the benefits, zero pain. That's awesome. All right. All right, so okay. thank you. Take care. Bye. Bye.